Hello, I am Phoenix. Summer in San Francisco. The days are long and the living is easy. Guys, I found Momokase. She's coming in hot. We've got Mad Jacks number six. Huh. Haven't seen them in a while. Steamer, lucky me. Huh? I got sparkles. That leaves. High voltage. Okay. Ready? Steady. Operation Bubble Run! We have met all performance objectives. Now that you guys graduated from SFIT, we can really step up our game. People, welcome to phase three. Yeah, battle tested, ready for anything. Nothing can stop us. Look at them. A big, happy family. Ah, my family was happy too once. Until the big heroes took them away from me! Or did they? <laughs> Welcome to Hypopotamus Pizza Partitorium, Mr. Fredrickson. I'm so excited! Did you rent out the whole place? Sarah, you left Noodle Burger? Too many sad memories. And our mascot here is nice. Not like that. <laughs> you know. We don't even need to talk about it. Anyway, you come to the right place. Thank you, Sarah. Honey Lemon Go-Go and Wasabi are gonna love this. Our friends deserve the coolest, bestest graduation party ever. I detect a small amount of mold. Shh, not today. Only fun today. No mold. It is still there, but I will not discuss it. Welcome to the Hyperpotamus Pizza Partitorium. I'm your host, Hyperpotamus. <laughs> what a ridiculous robotic beast. Hyperpotamus utilizes a state-of-the-art propulsion system. Maglev. <laughs> Impressive. You're fun. Is it your birthday? I do not have a birthday. I am a robot. Here at the Partitorium, it's everybody's birthday every day, no day. Yeah. Frivolity with open arms. It's birthday, birthday, birthday time. So have a smile and have a rhyme. I can do one more. Where are they? Relax. They said they would be here, so they will. See, they always come through. Sorry, we're late. We were at Professor Granville's job fair. Job fair? Why would he... I'm Hyperpotamus! Hippos! Fear of hippos. Don't ask. Okay, what's your name? Nope. Okay, nope. Let's come up with a secret best friend handshake. Come back, Honey Lemon. I heard hippos are only dangerous when their ears wiggle. Okay. 
but keep her away from me. No offense. None taken. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is your graduation party. We should be having fun together to celebrate all the time we'll have together. You do know that after you graduate, uh -huh. you get a Let's job. Let's all ride the pizza wheel together. Capacity per car is four. And also, do not ride if you are prone to motion sickness. I'm out. No, nobody is out. We'll squeeze uncomfortably together. See, isn't this fun? This is really fun, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, guys, you're in a pizza partytorium. What's so important on your phones right now? Sorry, Professor Granville just emailed a bunch of job openings. Me too. Same here. Mm. Do I need a suit? I don't own a suit. I need to work on my resume. I need to work on my game face. There will be plenty of time for that tomorrow. <laughs> Once I got past the hippo, this was really nice. Yeah, this was great, but we got to go. That was abrupt. Huh. More pizza for us, I guess. Did someone say more pizza? Box it to go. We got your message and came as fast as we could, Fred. Excellent. We've no time to waste. Why is your costume sitting in a chair? To feel less alone, because we're losing our friends. They are not lost. I have located them. Don't you guys get it? They're looking for jobs. So? So? They've already lost interest in us. What if they move to other cities? No more Big Hero 6. I think you're being a little overly dramatic. Oh, am I? I suppose you think this is dramatic too. Goodbye forever. <laughs> 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 This would have happened if our friends had stayed. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic. I guess you're right. But I'm still worried. Our friends won't just abandon us. Not after everything we've been through. Alert. Break it in progress at the San Francisco Zoo. Oh, look. An actual emergency. Stay alert. Right. I'll look for clues. Excuse me. That was a gorilla. Yep. Got a real good look. Whoever broke in, let him out of his habitat. We have to put him back. A gorilla can be up to six times as strong as a human. Sounds about right. We could use the other's help. I signaled wasabi, honey lemon, and go-go. However, they are not responding. Welcome to the Snapchat. I'm Hangry Panda. Got a hunger attack? Try the Snapchat. Hello, I am Baymax. We have popcorn, pretzels, churros. Do you have any juice? It's on the menu. Orange, apple, pineapple, mango. Hurry up and order. So you do have juice? Yes! <laughs> we don't have time for... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry, Hero. I think I can scare it. Remax! My damage is not critical. I am still able to retrieve information. For example, this is a mountain gorilla, a subspecies of the eastern gorilla. It is in danger. My fault. I asked Honey Lemon and Gogo -Go to help me with the video application to Brag Tech. Brag Tech? That's an Austin Bolt. Yeah, it would be a big change, but I probably won't get it. I think you have a good chance. Thanks, but it doesn't matter now. What does matter is putting him back. See? We're old news. No, he doesn't have the job. Yet? He he probably wouldn't take it. Then why did he apply? 
Why did you bring me here? This is your new home, sis. Ah! I think you've spent a little too much time in the fryer, pal. I'm not your sister. Pretending not to be my sis. Classic sis. But you are my sis. My new sis. And we're going to be related. I've got one of these cool chips inside me. It's awesome. And you're going to be awesome too, sis. Okay. One, I already am awesome. Two, I'm not living in this dump. Three, are you gonna order or what? System reboot initiated. Burger bro. Oh, my cool new family is off to an awesome start. <laughs> Just because we're related does not mean I'm good with that laugh. I'm a <laughs> Gross. But thank you. Okay, Fred. What's going on, and where is everybody else? Everybody else is sadly what's going on. I do not understand. We're losing Honey Lemon, Wasabi, and Go Go, which is a disaster. We're Big Hero Six. It's in the name. Obviously, Minnie Max is ready to step into a full-time role. Congratulations. Frankly, it was foolish not to have done this sooner. That still leaves two open spots. Here are the candidates. Fred, you're overreacting. Alert! I have picked up a distress call from Big and Nom Cafe. Unknown assailant in pursuit of their delivery bot. <gasps> That's Crushroom! Should I signal Wasabi, Honey Lemon, and Go-Go? Don't bother. I can't handle the rejection. I believe in them. Last time was a fluke. Contact them, Baymax. Message sent. I have located Crushroom. Do not despair, imperiled delivery bot! Help is on the way! Don't worry, Crushroom! Big Hero 6 is here! Crushroom only C4! Told you this is a problem! Say yourself, Big Hero 4! Hamburger Head with Laser Eyes Chase Crushroom! Hamburger Head? Laser Eyes? Okay, wait, hold on. I can figure this one out. Fred, really? The Noodle Man! Howdy and hello, Big Hero! Three? Six. Our friends are on their way. My scan indicates they are not. Seriously? Looks like your friends gave you a bad review. <laughs> How about a special order of humiliating <laughs> defeat? Flash no get see through cheese! Thanks, Baymax. Crush room. Big old 499! Uh, did we just fail? Our friends. They never came. Someone want to explain deal to Crush Room? <laughs> Order up. Crush Room like Crush Room's programming. Task oriented. Listen up. I was like you. Programmed for one purpose. That chip. It changes everything. <laughs> ah! Totally crushed it! Crush room by crush rooms calling an ass! <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Anytime, sis. Now what? Well, I think there's room in our family for one more. Hee <laughs> hee! Tito, Freddy, we are so sorry. Yeah, we saw what happened on the news. We should have been there. Why weren't you? We had job interviews. All of you? Yeah, with Bragg Tech. It was a group interview. They're thinking of us as a team. As I once did. So you're all leaving? I don't know. I think it went well. We nailed it. Oh, it would be so exciting if we could all work together. Hmm? <sighs> I mean, maybe? Wow. Okay. okay, if that, that's what you guys want, I, I hope you get the job. Hi, Hero. Baymax, how was your day? It was fine. 
fine. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Hero is feeling sad that wasabi, honey lemon, and go-go may leave. Uh, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is. As you get older, things change, and sometimes people move away. Before I know it, you'll be old enough to head out on your own, and sure, I'll be sad, but we'll always be family. You too, Baymax. No, oh, bring it in! Why steal robotic mascots? Noodle Burger Boy is clearly putting together a team. I think so. Look, we need to figure out his next target. Hyperpotamus was described as state of the art. Good call. The hippo is the likely next target. But we will be victorious because we live on Awesome Street with a summer house in Punch Butt Bay. I'll call Wasabi, Honey Living, and Go-Go. No. No? They're moving on from us. And we need to get used to life without them because if we don't... I'm out! What, while we wait for our friends? We'll, uh, we'll give you two minutes, mister. Okay, time's up. You were right from the start, Fred. We can't count on them. I thought being right twice in a row would feel more satisfying, but it doesn't. It just feels empty and sad. This has become quite dark. Quite quickly. Let's focus. We gotta get to- The pizza partitorium is in danger. Sadly, it is true, managerial citizen. But we're here to help. Do you really think Noodle Burger Boy is gonna try to take my sweet hyperpotamus? Based on recent events, it is a probable outcome. There, there. Where is Hyperpotamus? Someone looking for the fun one? Cause that's me, Hyperpotamus! Okay, stay close to us. We'll keep you safe. Don't worry, mister! Hyperpotamus belongs to our family. Crush room ready to crush room! By which crush room mean crush this room, which we in right now. Welcome to the Pizza Partitorium! Let's have a smiling contest! Ugh, I can't believe we're gonna be related. Don't worry, it's not happening. Yeah, no offense, but your team is no match for us. Yep, the customer is always wrong! Oh, no. Howdy, Ed! Hello! Hyperpotamus, run! You mean like Tad? Max, get Sarah to safety. Follow me, citizen! <laughs> you are now safe! I'm in a mood, Tiny! Out of my way! Make it stop! Fun! No! our assistance. Okay, everybody in?
What's up? Huh. We did it! Yeah! We won! Not, 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 not exactly. Hey there! From now on, I'm serving up evil instead of pizza! <laughs> That is gonna be big trouble. Guys, I'm sorry Fred doubted you. Yeah. Wait, hey! Listen, you two knuckleheads. It doesn't matter what city any of us end up in. Yeah, you know where we'll always be. Right here. And if something bad goes down, we'll be here here. Kicking butt. Not like this time where clearly we got our butts kicked, but you get it. Yeah, we get it. I do, 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 do not get it! My logic circuits are malfunctioning. Let's get you fixed up, buddy. Uh, listen, y'all. Now, I hate to interrupt, but I'm still stuck up here, and my shift just ended. Sorry. Blake who had the party and didn't invite me. You know you're supposed to clean up after yourself. Says who? Says me. That's who. You're not the boss of me. What's going on here? Good, Good morning, morning, Gadget. Gadget. Good golly. Look at all this garbage. Who's gonna clean it up? There he is. Clean up this mess. Pick up after yourself. Do this. Do that. I'd like to live somewhere where you never have to take out the trash. Here. Ah, isn't it 
Isn't it beautiful? There's just something romantic about a sea voyage. Yeah, romantic. This reminds me of the time I got shanghaied in Shanghai on a junk full of junk. I think that happened twice. Once we reach the dump, we can hitch a ride back home. I hope we get back in time for dinner. Who could think of eating in a place like this? Get you out of there. Golly, look at that! Huh? <laughs> Looks like pirates. Fire! Look out! All right, you bilge rats. Heave ho! There should be enough air trapped inside the bottle to keep them safe. For now. Looks like we get no choice but to go down after them. Look at that! We've got to get out of this net! Come on! This here be a pirate ship, and we be pirates. I be the first mate of this here crew. Jolly Roger's me name. And this be the second mate, Arvy. Arr! How about joining us for a pirate feast to celebrate the raid? Well, we really need to be... A feast? Oh, boy, oh, boy, what are we having? Let's see. Looks like leftovers again! <laughs> this should be just what we need. Now, if we only had some string... Is this thing gonna take long? <laughs> 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 Isn't this fun, Chip? Let's have a treasure hunt, Roger. Aye, a treasure hunt. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Have a ass, you mean, you swabs. What's the idea of running off without cleaning the table? There, you see? <laughs> That's what I call cleaning up. But... All right, lads. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Wait a minute, stupid. Who? Me? We can't waste 
our time playing pirates. We're rescue rangers. We've got jobs to do. You're just jealous because you don't have a hat. Good news, Bucko. We've decided to let you lead the treasure hunt. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Not this door, matey. This leads to the lair of Billy the Squid. I know the way! I know the way! Billy, that RV. The little landlubber with the red nose is the leader this week. This week? Oh, there's your pirates! Follow me! According to the map, it's right behind this door. to leave it here to find next week. Next week? Right home, matey. <laughs> We've been finding this treasure every week for nigh on 200 years. What are you talking about? I was the one who found it. Well then, we'll just leave it where it is and go back home without it. Go back? You can't go back. Not now that you've seen our treasure. You have to stay down here with us for the rest of your lives. Now, I fasten the baking soda to the back of the skateboard. Um, how much longer do you think it'll time? Just one more little adjustment. There, it's finished. Let's get inside. Uh-oh. We've got a problem. Oh, reverse that. No problem. Blimey, a real old pirate ship. What happened? I think our fuel just fizzed out. My, it's dark in here. Blimey, an octopus. <laughs> It was a right bonza move, Gadget, love. Come on, we've got work to do. Right oh, Gadget. We gotta count all this blinking treasure. We're not here for treasure, Monty. You and Zipper find Chip and Dale while I try to build another submarine. Oh, right. No 
nobody home. in the brig like this, mateys. But you might be trying to make off with our treasure. You can trust me. I'm an honorary pirate. Sorry, matey. Can't take no chances. When this here ship sank, the captain of the ship's rats, long lost Lafitte, told him to guard the treasure till he returned. We can't be going back on the captain's orders. But that was 200 years ago. Well, he didn't say it'd be easy. I don't want to be a pirate anymore. You've got to get us out of here. This is all your fault. If you hadn't wanted to play pirate, we wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, that, you lovers. Who are you? What? Don't you know your own captain? I'm Long Lost Lafitte. Long Lost Lafitte? What's that on your shoulder? That's me parrot. Bit small for a parrot, ain't he? Oi, he's been sick. How do we know you ain't some landlubber trying to steal our treasure? Get young Ned. He were the captain's cabin boy. He'll know. Aye, get young Ned. You know, long lost Lafitte looks a lot like Monterey Jack. Shh. Here's young Ned. Somebody call for the cabin boy. There's a swab here. Says he's long lost Lafitte. He, he says he's the captain. There be three ways he always knew the cabin. When he looked at you, he always had a funny squint in his eye. His eye? Eye. Eye. And he was a short man. And he only had one leg. He left one. Captain Luffy, you come back. <laughs> That's it, me hearties. Let him out of the brig. I'll be taking these landlubbers back to shore as soon as uh, me. Uh, soon as uh, me. Uh, me. Uh, pirate, Captain? Aye. <laughs> pirate. As soon as he gets back with me other little pal. Here they come now. I still don't understand why you're wearing all those dirty old feathers and why you're wearing pirate clothes. Mm -hmm. Because he's Captain Long Lost Lafitte. That's why. All aboard, mateys. Prepare to launch barrel. Will you be taking your treasure with you, Captain? Well, no. Uh, I suppose we might find room for a little gold. Maybe some silver. No, I reckon not. Guard the treasure till I come back again. It could be another couple of hundred years. Aye, aye, come! Wait, Captain, wait! What about your cheese? Cheese? Yeah, I wouldn't let none of this lot touch it, Captain. Yeah. Been saving it for you all these years. Cheese. He ain't the Captain at all! They're just a bunch of lovers after our treasure! You know what happens to them, what tries to steal our treasure? They walk the plank! But we had so much fun together! This be fun, bucko! For Billy the Squid! Watch that first step, mateys. It's a long one. <laughs> Come on now, hurry up. Billy's waiting. I've got an idea. Good time for one. Everybody breathe out. <laughs> 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 
Ah! Here now, none of that. <laughs> You can depend on me! Hey, where'd them landlubbers go? Now there's after our food! Come on, lads! We gotta use that barrel of theirs to get back to the surface. That's just where they'll be waiting for us. Maybe we could raise the whole ship. I'll bet it's the weight of all that treasure that's holding it down. If we unload it, the ship might float to the top. Yeah, but how do we unload the treasure? There must be tons of it. Well, I didn't say it was a perfect idea. There they be, lads! Get him! We can use the cannon to blast the treasure free from the ship. Me and Zipper will hold off them pirates while you do it. <laughs> Upside down. From now on, you'll be able to live like other rats above the water. We can have real adventures again. Ahoy, Mix! You won't have to be afraid of Billy the Squid no more. We took care of the Squid Kid. Yeah! Are you sure you won't come with us, mateys? We'll be having some real adventures. I think we've had enough adventure for one day. Say goodbye to the little red-nosed swab. He would have made a grand pirate. Ah! Good eye, mates. Where is Dale? He said something about preparing a farewell cannon salute. <laughs> Just making myself feel at home. <laughs> <laughs>
wait. Um, I'm stabilizing Grunt's lift. <laughs> Leader stabilize. Uh, uh. Ah, life on a boat, huh? The lively rocking of the waves, sleeping next to a dangerous boiler, and what's that? A longshoreman cursing? Fun! Anything's better than the mansion with that selfish old miser. Oh, that's not fair. Scrooge isn't that old and selfish. Okay, but in the most lovable way. Home sweet home. Um, I got snacks. What? What's doing? Nope. Right here, not stealing the boat. Yep, back to the good old days. Woo woo. Woo. Big day, magic, a real big day. The eclipse is at hand. My plan is flawless. Let me go! Oh, that's right. I forgot you were here. I won't let you do this! Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, except at the moment of the eclipse, my powers will finally unleash, and I'll be an invincible juggernaut of dark magic! So, you know. <laughs> now that you've gained the trust of Scrooge's brats, I can use your body to get inside the house. Then I'll weaken Scrooge with this. Snatch the number one dime at the height of the eclipse, unleash my full power, and use it to destroy everything Scrooge has ever loved. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. McD. Don't worry. I'm not here to check on you on account of everyone moving out because the boys blame you for launching their mom into space and orphaning them. I'm here to take you out for ice cream. Mmm, sounds good, right? Family crisis. I mean, ice cream. Go away. Out? Moved? Ice cream? Without those kids to let me in, how am I supposed to get my evil, evil vengeance? <laughs> no, I will defeat Scrooge McDuck. I am the dark shadow lying in wait. I am the stuff of nightmares lurking in the hidden recesses of your mind. I am! <laughs> All right, just have to convince Scrooge that I'm a typical little girl. Gee whiz, mister, it's me, that insufferable whelp, Lena. The little urchins invited me over to, uh, what do children like? Play marbles? The children are gone. Leave me alone forever. <laughs> ah, shucks. Webby said this would happen. What did she say? That you wouldn't be able to handle the kids leaving and have an old man meltdown. I thought better of you. Guess I was wrong. At last, a vanquishing for the ages. A final clash between the sorceress of the shadows and the world's greatest adventurer, Scrooge Mc... Wait, what? Hey guys, I think you misplaced this box. We're throwing that away. What? The Druid's Cup? This Mount Neverest t-shirt? The golden Kokesh of Tothra that you conned Launchpad out of? Those artifacts are special. It's just old junk. Yeah! Seriously? You're still holding it. Uh, fine! Mm. Ah. Uh, hello? No, 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 no! I can't believe it's really over. I mean, they're falling apart in their family. Are we next? Don't worry. I've crashed literally hundreds of Mr. McDee's vehicles, and he always gets over it. The boys will too. I don't know. This feels different. They blame Scrooge for their mom's disappearance. It'll blow over. There'll be a happy family living in the mansion before you know it. Guys, good news! Where have you always wanted to go? 
Into the water to get my Kopesh? Let's go, the shot. They're moving there tomorrow. Cape Suits, here we come. They're, They're moving tomorrow? tomorrow? We have no time. The only family I've ever known, gone forever. Oh, what do we do? This is bad, real bad. Will Dewey and I still be friends? Who will I call for advice? Do they have phones in Cape Suzette? Okay, okay. One of us needs to stay calm here. So, you? Uh, all we need is a simple plan to remind Scrooge and the boys how much they need each other. Huh? An, An amazingly fun and elaborate farewell dinner party scheme! scheme. Yes! yes! Step one! We throw the boys a farewell party to convince them they don't want to move. Step two! Reveal surprise guest, Scrooge, and remind them how much they all miss each other. Step three! There is no step three! Because we just nailed it in two steps! Woo! Now. Woo Ugh, how long has your housekeeping staff been gone? Three days. So how are my so-called kin? Miserable, no doubt, living on that disgusting boat. I'm obviously doing much better than they are. That pesky possum! Keep treating my anchovies! <laughs> Scrooge! Mm. That sad sack of feathers is not Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> the Scrooge McDuck I know is a shrewd, conquering hero of legend. <laughs> Unless this is all a trick. Yes, that's it, of course. He senses something. He's trying to convince me he's a pathetic loser, hoping I'll make a mistake. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't fool me, Scroogey! I am the one who fools! One sip, lights out, grab the dime, then I enact my vengeance. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Lena! Huh, it says here that Cape Suzette has a pretty neat park. They just got a second swing. And the Cape Suzette Saltine Cracker Factory gives public tours. And they let you sample the crackers, at least. Yeah. I mean, this place used to sound exciting, right? Ho-ho! <laughs> Meet the new Dewey, the dashing debonair yachtsman of Cape Suzette. Ah! Fancy boat shoes. Pain worth it for the fancy boat shoes. Hee! <laughs> Yuck! Dear Hubert, Duford, and Lou, <laughs> you are cordially invited to your own dining room for a dinner full of heartwarming memories and surprises, question mark? Will you attend, yay or nay? They're coming! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Now we just have to get Scrooge to show up. But how? Well, we're gonna have to be subtle. Hello, Mr. McD. Come to a party on Donald's houseboat for, uh... Oh, uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, a game of charades? Free food! I'll be there. You will? But I'll only eat the finest lobster caviar canapes and make sure no one starts eating until I get there as I consider it the height of rudeness. Bless me, bagpipes. Good day. Huh, dinner officially ruined. Hm. Now, back to destroying Scrooge. Where's that blasted nutmeg tea? Ooh, convenient. Don't worry, I'll get it. Hey, what's the big idea? Didn't the boys tell you? We're making you a heartwarming farewell dinner. Oh, fine. <laughs> One man's nephew's former bedroom is another man's pantry, I always say. Ow. He is very committed to this looking pathetic trap. Have some tea. It'll settle you. Thanks. Sweet, playful marbles. 
three to a bag. Red, green, and that rascal blue marble always rolling whichever way it wants. An ungrateful the lot of them at every turn. After all I did for them, but they just threw it in my face. Yeah, there's nothing worse than marbles. <laughs> D? I'm talking about family. Ugh, tell me about it. They disobey you, run you ragged, don't follow through on elaborate revenge plots. They spend your money, take over your home, cause trouble, worm their way into your head with fond memories that you can't get out, no matter how hard you try. Cheers to ridding fond memories. And then they leave without so much as a thank you. Forget family. Who needs them? I'll drink to that. Ah! Of all the idiotic... I mean, I'll go make you another. Come on, guys. You're going to be late for the greatest dinner of all time. Culinary journey through Duckburg. Every bite reminding you how much you love this town you're leaving behind for some dumb reason. Mmm, the family teeny. Old family recipe. Tastes like the loving embrace of family. <sighs> Are these melted popsicles in cups? The stirrer has a riddle on it. Yeah, you won't get fancy stuff like this in Cape Suzette. That's probably for <gasps> the best. I heard there was a farewell party. I brought ambrosia salad. <sighs> Granny's a master spy. She'll expose our plan. How'd she know about the party? I don't know. I specifically wrote on her invitation, don't come. And where is Scrooge? He was supposed to be here half an hour ago. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Just need to stall till he arrives. <laughs> a toast! The dictionary defines family as a group of people bound together by commitment and unwavering loyalty. So, let's each say one nice thing about a particular relative of ours. <clears throat> Boys? Uh, fine. I'll go with Uncle Donald because, well, he's devoted to his family, unlike others. Yeah, and he's thoughtful. Don't forget passionate. Uh. I like his sailor get up. <sighs> okay, we all love Donald. But how about a relative that is not in this room who is over 80 and is very, very rich? Why are you guys acting so weird? Uh, we're not. Emergency bounce house! Webby, launch pad. A word? This is a parent trap, isn't it? You're trying to manufacture sentiment to force Scrooge and the boys to come together against their wills. I want in. Really? If this family won't come together, we'll have to do it for them. I assume you invited Scrooge. Yeah, but he's running late. Okay, I'll get the boys and Donald emotionally primed while we wait. I'm a former agent and a grandmother. I know how to weaponize guilt. Here, tea. This time in a convenient no-spill cup. Finally, without those kids dragging me off on rip-roaring, unforgettable adventures, I can just sit here in peace, stare vacantly at my money, and sulk like an errant recluse. On an unrelated note, how's that tea? Spilt. Like my life. Oh, my word, it's not a trap. He's actually become this pathetic. How dare you make me pity you? This is not how I pictured killing you in my head for the last 15 years. Go on, scram now. Let me wallow in peace. Toughen up, man. You conquered Plain Awful. You found the last crown of the Mongols. You even defeated some very powerful dark forces. You don't need family. You're Scrooge McDuck. Act like it. I am Scrooge McDuck. I was adventuring before them. No one helped me then, and I don't need help now. Yes, they were all in your way. Mooching, freeloading, trying to weaken you with compassion and caring. I'm going back to basics. Doggedly driven, bear, bar me, Scrooge, flying solo. I don't need duck bar, or the mansion, or the bin. I can start from scratch. I didn't need these pince nez spectacles. This handmade silk weave top hat. These satin spatter dashes. Yes, yes, yes! I don't need anything! Not even your number one dime! Well, that's crazy. Of course I need my dime. What about starting from scratch? Just give me the dime and I'll throw it away for you. Why would a young lass be so interested in getting her hands on my old number one dime? Maybe you should be going. Yeah. Lena! 
Uh, what the? Have you gone dark? Uh, uh, I'm not gonna fight a child. Uh, ah! Okay, fine. Uh, 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 Feed my power, Dark Eclipse. Free my form from the abyss. Dormant magic now unchain. The Shadow Queen, behold again! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! The magic, the body, I'm back! Hello, Scroogey. I've missed you. Magic and a spell. You black-hearted wretch of the foulest lineage! Impossible. How? Why don't you ask your housekeeper's granddaughter's new best friend? You have a confusing family structure, you know that. You got your stupid body back, now leave us alone! Yes, scotch at a piece of ogress. <gasps> oh, but I just got here! Yes! Yes, guys! Apple shortbread pie with a scoop of sea salt ice cream. A common farewell dessert in certain parts. Finally, some real food. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was Scrooge's favorite dessert. Oh, I don't want to remind you of that horrid man who lost your mother all those years ago. Even if it was an accident that tore him up for ten years, propelling him into a desperate search attempt that left him broken and nearly bankrupt. Wait, bankrupt? Really? But I understand. You're upset because you lost one family member which was terrible and painful. So you decided you should go ahead and lose another. Brilliant. Makes perfect rational sense. Yeah, nailed it, Mrs. B. Yes, distance yourself even further from his life and forsake family altogether. That will definitely fix it. No, it'll do the opposite of that. Perhaps it's worth considering that the reason Scrooge closed himself off was because the loss of Della was the hardest thing he'd ever faced. Harder than any adventure. It's not that he didn't care. It's that he cared about family more than anything in the world. And perhaps he still does. But I'm just the housekeeper. What do I know? A lot! This lady knows a lot! <laughs> yeah, wait, inebrious traitor. We welcomed you into our home only to have you unleash this repugnant beast manga. She's my aunt. She made me do it. Mm, family. Mm, good for nothing left me completely vulnerable to this. Uh, please. Magica only got in here because you threw your family out. My family is good for nothing. Your family is amazing. You fight and get into trouble, but it doesn't matter because you, I don't know, love each other or something. Dude, I wish I had your family. You're right, lass. Help me get my family back, and you'll have a place in it. We're all stronger together. Ready? I'll see what I can do. Come on, ya Mephistophelian Medusa! Let's... Ooh! Sorry, I was just watching you rally for triumphant comeback. So sad. So futile. Now, where was I? Oh, yes! Revenge! Me bagpipes! Curse you, Dispel! No, no, Scrooge. Curse you! Hmm, <laughs> not the most inspiring final words. Now let's toast to a fine farewell meal topped with a dash of perspective. So, this whole thing was to guilt us into going back to the mansion? Well, it's not gonna work. Sorry, but it's too late. We're going to Cape Suzette with our real family, and that's that. Right, Uncle Donald? Wow. This is Bill's world. 
I just love speeches, and we need him. Our family has been apart too long. It's time for us to come together, come here, boys. Wait, 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 but, but, but the spear, and mom, and, and... Family? Trapped! Let's go back to the mansion! vantage point to view the lunar eclipse. Just me, the night sky, and the swirling shadow vortex. A swirling shadow vortex? <laughs> blathering blatherskite! <laughs> Where are you going? You're my shadow, you hear? Curse you, man! So, still going to Cape Suzette, right? Cool, yeah, I'll start the boat. Take it in, Scroogey! Magicka Dispel! <gasps> Wait, who? Magicka Dispel! A vile sorceress with a mysterious ancient grudge against Clan McDuck! She was Scrooge's bitterest rival, but no one's seen her since they fought on Mount Vesuvius 15 years ago. All right, all. Cool heads. We must help Scrooge before anything else... <laughs> ah! Take my brothers first, please! <laughs> It's just Manny! That's it! No more underwater labs! It's volcanoes or abandoned castles from now on! Dr. Gearloose, what happened? Our own shadows came to life and wrecked the lab. That my shadow control ray is still in the test phase, so this one is not on me. Everybody listen up! I just want to get Bravo and some blocks on them! What? what? Did anyone get any of that? It's mostly context clues. We get like every third word. Nope, completely unintelligible. I'll you I didn't tell you, come on. Uh, I don't have time for this. <laughs> the Barxian Modulator. Able to translate neural impulses into sonic transmissions. <sighs> it's a voice box. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. Tell so long. Modulator. Buh. <laughs> oh. Hey, talk to me! You mad scientist? Whoa, he sounds so normal. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> wow, never been able to say that before. <clears throat> As I was saying, Uncle Scrooge is in trouble, and it's up to us to help him. Adventure is in our blood. We face down perilous foes and endless danger every day, but we always prevail because these ducks don't back down. Thank you, Donald. Now, we need to- Stage a coordinated attack. Gyro, you and your team will charge the bridge to distract Magicka's shadow forces. Launchpad, head up the air attack to draw her attention. Do you think you can crash into the bin? <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> and
And Beakley, while the others distract Magicka, you and I will sneak around back in my newly fixed up houseboat. That is actually very close to what I was going to say. And we... We'll stay here and out of danger. Oh, come on! But this isn't an adventure. This is Magicka Dispel. Under no circumstances are you kids to come to the bin. Do you understand? Yes, yes Uncle, Uncle Donald. Donald. So we're totally sneaking into the money bin, right? But how are we gonna take on an entire shadow army? The ducks don't back down! Now, if only we knew someone with experience breaking into places. You mean like a noble teen ne'er-do-well who can break into anything, including your heart? Yeah, that'd be great. <gasps> Lena! 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 Lena, right, I was gonna say Lena. Great. All right, just like when I led that uprising in Eagle Slavia, I'll take the wheel, you... Uh-uh, my house, my rules. Aye, aye, sir. Get ready for the storm. I am the storm. No, seriously, have you been saying things like that this whole time? Ah, best seat in the house. Now the revenge monologue I've been plotting for 15 years. To my most hated nemesis, that's you. As you know, you banished me to a nether realm within your dime, where I've been biding my time devising your delicious downfall. In conclusion, Wait, these are out of order. Hold on. Hold on! Don't roll your eye at me! I've been trapped for 15 years. I'm entitled to a full minute of gloating. I will make you watch as I destroy everything you've ever loved, starting with your precious little town. Oh, that's good. Got a pen. Lena. Yo, Lena! Where are you? Oh, what if my best friend was taken by the shadows? Webby, don't lose faith. Remember, ducks don't back down? Tonight, we seek revenge on those who destroyed our lab. And whoever defeats the most shadows will earn the most elusive prize of all. My respect. Oh, and the loser is fired. Good luck! Pilot to co-pilot, we are ready for launch. Could be dangerous. Suggested flight path? Let's get dangerous. Is this where Lena lives? Oof, explains why she's always sleeping over at our house. Lena! Sorry to barge in unannounced! Maybe she's hiding? A journal! You can't read her journal. Although if she were taken, she might have left a note. A poem, best friend, rebel, poet. Is there anything Lena can't do? <clears throat> to end the line of Clan McDuck, she sought a token of their luck. Lo, with the eclipse in its prime, she'd trap old Scrooge within his dime? But Scrooge reversed her vengeance plan, and in his dime, the witch did land. Yet as he struck the final blow, she cast a spy from her shadow. I walk the earth and wield her power to bring about McDuck's last hour. Lena is magic a spy? Lena is a shadow? She betrayed us all to free Magicka. She was never my friend. You might not have her, but you still have us. We're family. And ducks don't <laughs> save it. Uh, uh, guys, check this out. Magicka used the power of the Eclipse to escape Scrooge's dime. Only to trap him there instead. We have to get to that dime and save Scrooge ourselves. And I know just how to do it. Is this your favorite treasure? Oh! Oh, too bad. Now it's ice cream. Want to lick? Whoops. How does it feel, Scroogey? Oh, looks like your family's coming to play. Say goodbye, McDuck. <laughs>
around. What? We like Scrooge again. Oh, whatever. Get your own Kopesh. Elevator's busted. How are we going to get to the bin entrance on the top floor? Uh... Sorry to crash the party. Sorry to crash the party. Crash the party. Hey, not cool. No, please take me alive. At last, one of Scrooge's beloved nephew. Wait, who are you? I'm Scrooge's number one scientist. Blink once if this guy is a good friend, twice if he's just a work acquaintance. Ah. Bah! Get to the bin! You go. I'll be fine. Haven't had a proper fight in a while, anyway. Look after my boat! <laughs> if Donald can keep this bucket afloat, how hard could it be? Hey! What's the big idea? So close. Uh, yeah, uh. Louie, out. Um, guys, when did our shadows come back? Oh. Cut the light so he won't cast shadows! <laughs> now we can't see! I can. Everyone hold hands and form a chain behind Webby! Uh... Ew, Huey, your hands are clammy. Come on, guys! Ducks don't back down! I've literally never heard that family motto before today! Ugh. We're never gonna find Scrooge's office! I found Scrooge's office! <gasps> <gasps> okay, maybe we should listen to... <gasps> Uncle Donald! <gasps> Get away from my kids! We can explain! Please, I told you not to come, so of course you showed up, and just when I need you. Classic reverse psychology. I feel like I should have seen that coming. Go save your uncle. I'll keep these palookas at bay. Ducks don't back down. See? I told you it's a thing. It's cooler when he does it. Come and get it, you no good! <laughs> For this, come and get it. <laughs> Give us back our uncle. Oh, he's trapped forever inside the thing he loves most. Sorry. Split up. Then what? Do what we do best. Make trouble. Take that. Your hands out. And hey, ow, wait. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Next! Blathering ah! blather skite! Illumination, gentlemen! If we increase Lil Bob's wattage output and optimize the laser's spatial coherence... Yes! Manny, we ride! Andiamo! Oh. 
He fixed the boat once. He could do it again, right? Crash the party! Huh? Oh, come on! I'm the best at crashing! Wait! Take the wheel! Let's get dangerous. Launchpad climbs out on the plane. Gonna start a fight! Wish I could think of a word that would rhyme with fight. All right! Hey, a couple of questions for you. If you were caught in the dime, how come we never saw you in it? Oh. Also, Scrooge isn't exactly magical, so how did he manage to trap you in it? Ah. Follow up, how does the lunar eclipse factor into all this? Well, you see, I channel my power. It's just magic. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh no! You broke the mirror of Taiki! The what now? Ancient artifact? Terrible curse if you break it. I've never heard of it, and I am versed in all magics. Gaelic, Demogorgon, Sumerian. Sumerian? You were in that dime a long time. <laughs> well, good luck with the curse. What kind of curse? Grave misfortune, increased gullibility, a swift kick in the ribs. A what? Ah! Yeah! My ribs! <gasps> ah! Ooh, someone's mad. Bracelet. Honestly, it's embarrassing how pathetic you were. Here, let me put you out of your misery. Get away from my best friend, Aunt Magica! Lena! Aunt? You're even worse than her! You aren't my family! You are nothing! So listen, Uncle Scrooge, I guess I get why you didn't tell us about our mom. Should, and maybe we should have realized that when we lost our mom, you lost her too. But, yeah! Okay, not the time for a heart to heart. Ah! That's mine! to dispel your own spell, dispel! You know, I ought to thank you. For showing you how weak and pathetic you truly are. You're welcome. If you hadn't attacked me, my family may well have left forever. By trying to destroy me, you sort of saved my family. That's not what happened! I got it. Oh. 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 Never crashed to me before. <laughs> Curse you, MacDuck! You haven't seen the last of me! <coughs> oh, good 
Nacho! Oh, boy. Woohoo! We did it! We sure did. Now, about your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Lena's gone. But she sacrificed herself to save you. Huh. I guess she really was my best friend. She'll always be with you. Huey, Louis, the third one? Curse me, Kilts, have I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Family truly is the greatest day. <laughs> Anyone up for a midnight swim? <laughs> Don't drink this water! And so Duckburg is saved, thanks to Scrooge McDuck and his family. <gasps> Boys? say, if you're going to be late, make an entrance. And here we are. Sorry I'm late, guys. School night. Miss Marvel, great to have you here. Kamala! Welcome to the party! Nice to see you, Miss Marvel. Hey, shortstop. Glad you made it. Did I miss her? Is she here? Oh, I really wanted to meet her. You have missed nothing, Miss Marvel. Indeed, now that you have arrived, I can officially present the reason for this gathering. My sister, Shuri, Princess of Wakanda. <laughs> Shuri, these are my compatriots, the Avengers. I'm very pleased to meet you all. You said this was formal. It is your formal introduction to the team. Just try to... Hi, so I'm Kamala. Oh, whoops, sorry. Superhero names, right? Miss Marvel! My brother has told me so much about you. Well, he told us next to nothing about you. Shocking. I've never met a real princess. It must be awesome. It... the has its perks. You didn't have to go to all this trouble for us to meet your sister, who is stunning, by the way. We could have just ordered some pizza, watched a movie on the TV. Shuri is the crown princess of Wakanda. She does not order in. Maybe she should. Maybe you should. You gotta start relaxing, buddy. We are colleagues. Allies. I don't think we are... buddies. You're an Avenger, I'm an Avenger. We're practically family. If that is so, we'd know things about one another that the general public would not, correct? Well, yeah, in theory. Then tell me, buddy. What is my favorite color? I'm gonna go with... black? Breaking news! Hundreds of unknown soldiers are attacking Manhattan. First responders have been activated all over the city. Stay tuned for updates. Shuri, go to the embassy. But T'Challa, I can... Please, do not argue. Go! Black Panther! T'Challa! How does he expect to get... Never mind. Let's go. Okay, people. You know the drill. Protect civilians. Stop bad guys. Surface, 
I am Tiger Shark of Atlantis, and this city belongs to me! of this world. The oceans must rule it all. You will fall before me, surface dwellers. All of you will. What are you doing here, Tiger Shark? What is this madness? Black Panther, I hadn't thought to find you here. No matter, you will die just like the rest. Atuma signed a treaty with the surface world. Why is Atlantis attacking now? Atuma is a fool! I will conquer this city! I will rule the surface and Atlantis as well! Uh uh uh! Oh! Wow! I felt that. Tiger Shark? He's more like Tiger Tank. Tiger Shark is one of Atuma's generals. He is a formidable opponent. Formidable? He went down with one punch. You're welcome for the save, buddy. Save? I was attempting to learn the reason for this attack when- No, 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 no! Bad Sharky! Wow, that was easier than I expected. It is not over. I think it's over. And BT Dubs, you're welcome again. There was no splash. Why wasn't there a- Iron Man, look out! That was my intention. Okay, I'm taking back the one punch thing. This guy's like the Hulk down here, with fins. Tiger Shark is vastly more powerful underwater. You're only the first to fall. All of the surface world will kneel before Tiger Shark. So, you think now's a good time to tell me your favorite color? Keep the pressure on. We're pushing them back. I do prefer throwing, Captain, but yes, we are winning the day. Uh, night! Nah! Guardian is right, my lord. The Avengers are winning. Is it not now time to use the weapon? We will deploy the weapon when I decide. If I decide. Keep to the plan. So, reroute from tier six and three. Uh, no? All right, uh, connect auxiliaries at junction beta four five. And, no again, uh, T'Challa, tell me you've got something. I do. Hey, stop that. I'm having enough trouble with tiger shark damage. The net is an Atlantean version of the Stark Tech plasma cable, is it not? Basically, the phase variance is a bit off, but wait a minute. What do you know about the plasma cable? We're not releasing that until the next Stark Expo. That is not important now. I have the solution. I believe if we combine systems, we can create a counter variance pulse and- And disrupt the net. Good thinking, buddy. Please do not call me buddy. Rerouting tier four to upper plating. Repulsor packs charging. Connecting junctions 15, 6, and 78. Ready for counterpulse in five, four, three, two, one. one. Hey guys, how is the swift? Welcome back. We can use the extra hands. 
Seems you've contained the battle to the bridge. Mostly. If we win here, the fight is over. It is not over until Tiger Shark is defeated. Call a halt, villain. Your war ends here. No, Asgardian. Here is where the war begins. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure this is the part where the bad guy gets smacked unconscious and the Avengers win. My lord, the weapon! Now is the time! You are right. Now is the time. The Horn of Neptune. Everyone, back! Uh, well, that was awful. <laughs> you have no idea what's coming. None of you. <laughs> Ah, what was that thing? Uh, honestly, I was kind of expecting more. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was bad, but... <sighs> the Horn of Neptune is not the danger, Miss Marvel. The danger is in what it calls. What does it call? That. Then we turn up the volume. This isn't working! T'Challa, duck! Tiger Shark must not be allowed to use the Horn of Neptune a second time. Split the team, it's the only way. Heavy hitters hold the bridge. That means you too, Ms. Marvel. Wait, I'm a heavy hitter? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Come on, boys! We're going shark hunting! Iron Man, Black Panther, we're moving out. You really like giving orders, don't you? Old habits. Come on, buddy. I'm your ride. I'm getting traces of the Horn's unique energy signature, but nothing conclusive. What's the skinny on this Horn of Neptune thing? What are we actually dealing with? It is a powerful Atlantean artifact. Wakanda keeps track of such items. This is one of the worst. All right. Well, he's used it, and we have our giant sea monster. What more can he do? There are many such creatures in the ocean's depths. The Horn can summon all of them if Tiger Shark wishes. See, this is the kind of thing you share with your buddies before the super-powered megalomaniac tries to take over the world. What's important is finding Tiger Shark ASAP, before he can use the Horn again. Why is he running away? He's got that Horn. Why not stay with his soldiers? He is most powerful in water. It does not make sense he'd move away from the river. Unless... Unless... What? Unless what? Finish your sentences! energy signature is stronger here. Tiger Shark definitely came this way. Can you track him? I can. Can you track me? Absolutely, buddy. With your stealth mesh turned off, you're lit up like a Christmas tree. Fine. Follow and be ready. All is well, my lord. Your army will take this city after all. With the power of this weapon, the horn is nothing. This city is nothing. 
Find the others. Meet me at the rendezvous point. Go! Tiger Shark, what are you playing at? Have you secured the target? How dare you speak to me thus? I dare quite a lot, Atlantean. And you are running out of time. This battle with the Avengers is taking too long. Watch your tone, human. All goes according to my plan. The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Robert Burns. Well, the king of cats. So brave, so foolhardy. Not so foolhardy. Cats do eat fish, after all. And sharks eat everything! <laughs> 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 told you that I was alone. Have you learned nothing? I have the horn of Neptune! Sorry! We already heard that song. No dice, fella. We really can't let you have that. It is over, Tiger Shark. Surrender. You think you've won? You've won nothing! Tiger Shark's gone again. He destroyed the horn. That's a good thing, right? Please tell me that's a good thing. Thor, what's your status? Victory is ours, Captain. Uh, guys? Beast's power was tremendous, but we have taken the field. Guys? Easy muscles. We did good out here, but let's not get cocky. Guys! Look! All right, then. Hey, Army! You know what would be great? If you guys could do whatever it is you're going to do with that horn. Please? Now? Right now? The big brains are working on it. You'll just have to hold the line, soldier. Easy for you to say. No circuitry, no working parts. How can it be just a shell? Two possibilities. A unique lattice of fissures in its structure allowed it to produce its effects when air was forced through. Or... Or? What's or? Or it is magic. Okay, let's reconstruct. These monsters are just... monsters, right? They're not trained to obey. They are mindless. The horn calls them and they follow, attacking everything in their path. So this thing has to have an off switch, right? Yes, a counter charm. But it requires the horn to be in one piece. We'll leave you to it. Come on, Cap. High and low, just like in training. If I have to smell this thing much longer, I'm gonna barf! Ugh. Captain Marvel! Six thirty-two, six thirty-three, six thirty-four, six thirty-five. Yes, 
Got our off switch. The mapping is good. It is a perfect replica. See? That wasn't so hard. A couple more compliments and we'll graduate from buddies to bromance. Right. Well, this hologram cannot stand in for the horn itself. It lacks sufficient energy. Pretty sure my armor- Cannot generate enough energy. We need something at least four times as powerful. Something... Like that! Well, two for the penthouse? Indeed. I believe your arc reactor might be just enough. Your arc reactor is not enough! I know. We have to go with plan B. Right. Tap the city's energy grid. Sorry, New York. It's only temporary. Almost. Almost there. Almost won't cut it. I need more. There is no more. The city is dark. Somebody's still got their lights on. Who is that? The Wakandan Embassy. Of course. Makes sense. You're using one of those vibranium gyroforges as a generator, am I right? The gyroforge is a secret. How do you know of it? We're buddies! We know things about each other most people don't. Fair enough. Your presence have changed. Ugh. Never mind. Shuri, please just do as I say. Connect the embassy's vibranium gyroforge to the city's power grid. Sisters, huh? You have no idea. Shuri did it! We're at 150%. Yes, yes, Wakandan technology is fantastic. Blow the horn! Nice work, team. But we've got some bad news. We got ambushed by some Atlantean stragglers. We lost Tiger Shark's trail near Embassy Row. Embassy Row? What's Tiger Shark want there? Oh no. Reconnect to Shuri. Royal priority. And another thing. Aren't you the one who strictly forbids us from connecting the Embassy to outside systems? Honestly! Shuri! For behind you! Shuri! said, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. Well, it's been two weeks ago yesterday that I was bitten by a radioactive spider, so I'm still figuring that out. Today, however, is what I live for. Making my debut and showing everyone what I'm capable of. From this moment on, the world will know me as Spider-Man! Come on, man! Ruining my moment! Choo! Choo! Oh, great! 
You're supposed to stick to walls, not pigeons. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Get away from my pigeon coop! Oh, you, you don't understand. I'm not stealing him. He's stuck to me. Great time to learn how to release Spidey. The thing I know about webbing. Or not. Seems 200 PSI isn't enough to launch webbing properly. Today isn't the best day to do this. What do I do, Uncle Ben? What do I do, Uncle Ben? Flash Thompson's mom wants me to tutor him in science, but he's always bullying me. I know it's the right thing to do, but man, it would be nice to see him squirm just a little. Hmm. Peter, everybody has a gift. Sometimes, when a person can't figure out what that gift is, they take it out on other people. Does that make sense? Not really. <laughs> Too bad. Because I thought my gift was making sense of things. Goodness knows it isn't science. I think all it needs is a little iron oxide. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know, Pete, I don't know as much about science as you do. But there's always been one formula that worked for me in any situation. With great power, comes great responsibility. That's not a real thing. You just made that up. What? Sure it is. Isn't that a thing? I know the P is. Yeah, it's phosphorus. And the only thing G stands for is goofy. Like I said, real or not, it's always worked for me. I'll tell Mrs. Thompson I can start tutoring Flash next week. You're right, Uncle Ben. With great power comes great responsibility. I need to do this. 250 PSI should do the trick. Oh no, you don't! Alright! See if I got this pressure right! It's working! It's working! Oh, overheating! are correct. At this speed, I've got 15 seconds to get everyone in a two-block radius out of danger. That includes the old lady on the corner, the mother and kid crossing the street, and the skateboarders heading to the... Wait! That's it! This car belongs in the HOV lane! For hoodlum-operated vehicles! Am I right? I mean left! Coming through! Manhattan. 300 
PSI, don't let me down now. Stop me or save them, hero. <laughs> Your first villain and you let him escape. I'm running out of webs, but maybe I should... Uh, hey, webhead. It's Spider-Man, actually. Great. How are we supposed to get these guys out of your web ball? Oh, it dissolves in an hour. I think. This is far enough. But Horizon High isn't for a few more blocks, sir. It may be a new school, Bernie, but it's the same old routine. You know I like to walk these last few blocks with my pal Pete. Uh, ah, oh, Sphenopalatine ganglio neuralgia. Now, can't you just say brain freeze like everyone else? Uh, but that wouldn't be accurate. One theory is, when the brain senses cold, it moves the blood through the cerebral artery to regulate the temperature. So technically, you should be saying, heat blast. <laughs> Nerd. See, you're the one who should be going to Horizon High. In, in fact, why don't you apply? You'd be a slam dunk. I don't know. Aunt May and I are barely scraping by now that Uncle Ben is gone. I can't ask any more from her. Smoothies are on me. That's not what I meant. I'm glad we still do this, Harry. I miss you not being at school. Yeah, well, you're gonna see me a lot sooner than you think. A slot has opened up at Horizon High, so Max has given a recruitment presentation at Midtown today. That's today? Max Modell is coming to school today? How do I look? Pretty rattled for a guy who's not interested in applying. No, I just, I mean, it's Max Modell. He's my idol. I know everything about him. I even volunteered to come in early and help set up on the day. Oh, no, I volunteered to come in early and help set up today! Liz Allen is gonna kill me! Same old Parker. Okay, I just need to reprogram the temperature threshold. Parker! You know you missed it. I know. I'm sorry, Liz, but once I missed it, I figured I'd just catch up on some schoolwork. You're always in the wrong place at the wrong time, Parker. Luckily, Randy was here to help. Yeah, more like I was ordered to help. Thanks, Randy. What temperature do you think a viscous liquid needs to reach before it achieves its maximum density? Got me. You're the egghead, remember? I'm just a guy doing a story on Max Modell for the school's website. How awesome is it that there's a school specifically for geniuses, and that they're coming here for recruits? <laughs> it can't be that good if that snob Harry Osborne got in. As far as I can tell, Horizon High is on par with a 4-H club. Exactly. If the 4-H's are hardworking heroes who help. Hmm. One of your H's is a W, Parker. Hey, I'm a science geek, not a spelling geek. Well, if Horizon High is legit, then Alistair Smythe is sure to be invited in next. You're too good for them, son. Max Modell is an overrated lab assistant. I knew him back in the day, and he's a fraud. Whatever you say, Mr. Smythe. Ooh, it's nine o'clock. We should be starting. Welcome, students of Midtown High. It isn't often a scientist gets called a genius within his lifetime. Can we call him a giant doofus? But when he creates a private school for young minds looking to pursue their dreams, we also get to call him a role model. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Max Modell from Horizon High! <laughs> Max Modell! Good morning, everyone. You know, I could spend a lot of time talking about the cool things we're doing over at Horizon High. What? Like I said, I could talk about them. But I'd rather show you with our new hologram prototypes. Created by the fertile minds at Horizon High. Where I'm excited to say, we have one last slot that needs to be filled this semester. Oh. It's not that simple. You see, in order to be a student at Horizon, you have to have a certain kind of intellect. An intellect that can solve an equation like this, for example. Wow, that equation seems to explain how moisture interacts with vibration. 
An intellect like Anya Corazon or Miles Morales. Students at Horizon who specialize in elemental physics. That's your cue. Go! Osborne. Huh? Oh, Mr. Smythe. Anya what do you need? And Miles are not that only contraption is making an odd humming noise. Is it supposed to do that? It looks fine. Don't be so smug. You're not the... In the area of chemistry, your very own Harry Osborne. I gotta go. Keep talking, Modell. I'm gonna bring you and your whole school down. Thanks, Max. At Horizon High, kids are doing things they could have only dreamed of before. Like Anya and her vibranium reactor. Anya? Once, vibranium could only be found in the nation of Wakanda. But with my vibranium reactor, there will be enough vibranium. Oh no! Spider sense go nuts! I bring in a new <laughs> Fortunately, in this chaos, no one will notice me switch to. Somehow that vibranium is working in reverse. Instead of absorbing vibrations, it's producing them. Let's hope I got this web shooter working right. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's true, Parker. You are always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Discharge? There, that ought to stop ya. Huh? Let's try and avoid barbecued spiders, shall we? Whew. Luckily, I still have my Parker clothes. I shut the reactor off, but the fire department is better equipped to deal with these intense flames. Great, no service. But someone needs to do something. And that someone is me. Well, hello, Max's equation. That gives me an idea. Piggyback on that vibranium output, absorb some of this condensation and redirect it. Repurpose these wires in. Uh, sorry? Why couldn't you just let that beetle kid handle it? I, uh, think he's Spider-Man. Mm. Hey, don't let it bother you, pal. The bad news is she'll hate you for life. But the good news is, you don't go to her school. And who is this young man I have to thank for putting out the fire? This is Peter Parker, the one I've been telling you about. Well, Peter, I'm impressed. Not only did you solve my equation, but you also put it to practical use. Indoor storm clouds are something I've been toying with, and you're the only one who figured it out. Mr. Modell, huh. look, I solved it too. Sorry, young man. That looks more like a Rorschach test than an answer. Come with me, Peter. Huh? Oh, Parker! Don't worry, son. This will all get fixed. I appreciate what you did here today, Peter. And it's with great pleasure that I'd like to offer you the remaining slot at Horizon. Uh, are you kidding me? Horizon High should be shut down. What you did here today was reckless. My students know exactly what they're doing, Spencer. And if I had to guess, I'd say some tampering occurred on this campus. Don't be foolish. You want to point fingers, point them at your own people. I know for a fact that Harry Osborne was tinkering around with the reactor before the presentation. What? That can't be. And the Board of Education states that any student accused of sabotage shall be suspended indefinitely, pending an investigation. You're a devious person, Spencer. But you're right. Harry, I hate to say it, but pending a brief investigation, I'm afraid you'll have to be suspended. What? 
you can't do that. I don't know what he's showing you, but I- Devastation! The perfect time for the vulture to pick through the remains! Oh, Max! <laughs> I'll go get help! More like I'll find my costume so I can change back to- Alright. Mental note. Make costume out of flame-resistant material next time. Let go of me, Adrian. Adrian Toombs was a pathetic employee of yours, Modell. Fired with insufficient cause. I am the Vulture. Adrian, you were fired for stealing equipment. That equipment was mine. Everything you worked on under my employ belongs to Horizon. Yes, but my anti-gravity vulture suit is all me. And it needs vibranium to work. <laughs> you again. I knew red and blue would be memorable. <laughs> I've got you. Yes, but I've got you. Let's see how you like being stabbed in the back like Modell did to me. Max, no! Let go! Can't let my first day turn out to be Max's last! Thanks, Flying Squirrel. Well, better than a beetle. At least you're safe. Uh, not yet we're not. The Vulture is headed back to the school. It's the Vibranium he wants. Then hang on! Are you sure you know how to fly this thing? Nope. Yeah. You! I told you I had everything under control. Then why am I not in possession of the Vibranium? I needed to take care of some personal business first. Ah! Your trivial grudges are of no concern to me! Dad, are you okay? I'm gonna make the Vulture pay for this! You'll do no such thing. Now that I have the Vibranium, it'll take someone much stronger than you to take me down. You talking about me? Huh? How? No bother. I shall destroy you all just the same. Bullseye! Or Vulture's Eye! Nice work, bird catchers. You mind sticking around to answer a few questions? To be honest, I've got my own questions that need answering. I just don't see how I can go to Horizon High, Aunt May. Peter, I thought we settled this. This is exactly what your Uncle Ben would have wanted, and we're not going to let him down. But how are we going to afford it? I'll get another job if I have to. Are they hiring at the cafe here? <laughs> Very funny. I guess it just feels weird going there without Harry. What's he gonna say now that he's been suspended? He's gonna say the suspension is temporary. And you deserve to be at that school as much as I do. Harry! You okay? What did your dad say? Relax. He said if the smartest school wouldn't have me, he'd create an even smarter one. Whatever that means. Hi, Mrs. Parker. What are you doing here? Well, I was so determined to see Peter go to Horizon High, I told him I'd walk him to school myself. Well, I can take it from here if you want. Thanks. Have a great day, you two. Got the first day jitters? Of course I do. It's my first day in a new environment, so naturally my hands are processing the incoming sensory signals sent from my- Okay, okay, I get it. It was a yes or no question. You're gonna fit in just fine. How are you feeling? Uh, confused? I mean, I know those Smythes aren't fans of mine, but it seems too devious even for them. Plus, that spider person showing up and destroying the reactor can't be just a coincidence. Now, I think that guy had a hand in this somehow, and I intend to prove it. Oh, I don't know about that. I think he was just trying to... Wait, you knew he was a spider? Yeah, what did you think he was? <laughs> Nothing. I can always count on you, Harry. See you later. Yeah.
Uh, Pete? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I seem to be going the wrong way. No, Pete. But once you're going the right way, learn from yesterday, live for today. Guess Einstein was right. Because even though I made some mistakes on my first day as a superhero, it still led me here. Yeah. And with the new school as awesome as this to go to, tomorrow can only get better. I hope. Peter Parker, you finally made it. Hi, Mr. Modell. Please, call me Max. Welcome to Horizon High. Wow. My Uncle Ben said everyone had a gift. Maybe I've finally found mine. Episode 4A, may the fur be with you. On the desert planet of Tatooine, live two happy young moisture farmers. Can, 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 can you what? do it faster? Faster? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Funny, funnier yeah. if possible. Fa oh, faster? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, episode 4A, may the fur be with you. <laughs> on the desert no, planet of Tatooine. No, 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 no. forget, forget the funnier. Yeah, just go faster. All right. Episode 4A, may the fur be with you. On the desert planet of Tatooine live two happy young moisture farmers who had absolutely no plans of leaving or getting involved in any kind of intergalactic shenanigans. Unbeknownst to them, the Galactic Empire had recently finished constructing its ultimate weapon, the Death Star. Ba -ba <laughs> That's creepy That's when you good. say it. Thanks. It's good. Thanks. Well, it was capitalized. <laughs> Meanwhile, having learned the whereabouts of the Death Star's plans, the Rebels send their best platypus agent to obtain them in hopes of finding a weakness. And none of this is canon, so just relax. K582, I'm gonna need you to run these numbers again. I took a third out of the budget already. Orders from the top, there's nothing I can do. Escaping. Go off, get him. What the heck? I'm slipping, I'm slipping. <laughs> we received your transmissions, so you have the Death Star plans? Agent P, you never ceased. Minus. An Imperial Star Destroyer has tracked our position. You can look, but you're never gonna find a better place to be Than this little slice of heaven tucked between the jungling waste and the big dude see We can surf through the canyons or train a pack of dew bags Build a giant hamster habitat for womp bats Or fire up our solar-powered sandcastle-making machine We're on Tatooine 
Yeah, we're living like kings out here. We got a Tucson summer, the hold on year. Cruising Beggars Canyon in our T-16er, just sitting on a rock eating blue ice cream. Blue ice cream. Cause we're on oh, town. We got two big sons, counting one and two. And there's two friends, fetch your boys. Well, we're brothers. We're step. No, we don't share a team. But we'll always be together here on Tatooine. Jamming with the modal nodes, racing turbo dust bikes, trading with the Jawas. Tricking out a droid or souping up the barge for a trip round Edgar Head Towers. We can stop along the way and startle Tuscan Raiders. And still be home in time to fix the bad Raiders. I think you know exactly what we mean. We yeah, we're living like kings out here. We got a Tucson summer, the whole on year. Cruising Beggars Canyon in our T16 or just sitting on a rock eating blue ice cream. I may be wearing my heart on my sleeve, but I can understand why anyone would want to leave. We know our civic pride is on a tad extreme, but we're so happy here we tend to overstate this theme. Overstate this theme. Cause we love Tatooine. Oh, we love it. We love Tatooine. Hey, Luke. Phineas, Ferb. What's up, guys? Ferb? Check this out. Pod racing engines? How'd you hook these up? We just picked up some power converters at Tashi Station. Nice. Do you need help with your moisture evaporator? We can trick it out like ours. I wish. But Uncle Owen wants to do things the old-fashioned way. Even the droids he buys are used. Hey, Treadwell. Well, we'll catch you later, Luke. We're gonna mosey on home for lunch. Wow. When they mosey, they mosey. What in... Is that a Star Destroyer? Finally, some real rebel busting. This is why I joined the Empire in the first place. I am so excited, I can hardly contain myself. I told you to go before the raid. That is not what I meant. But now that you mention All it... right, lock it up. We've got rebels to bust. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Uh, space battle over that way? Certainly not. You know your mission, to find socks for Lord Vader. Yes, sir. Socks! This is a total waste of my potential! Ah! Not me. This is about where I peek. Agent P, I need you to make sure this R2 unit goes to Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine. But first, I need to record a video message. Be a dear and stand over by the bulkhead. You're kind of in my shot. So what color socks do you think he uh, wants? Black? I'm just saying, everything the guy owns is black. You think maybe, what? Oh, there's somebody doing something over there. Oh yeah, it's busting time. Oh, Commander! going to get those socks, are we? Hey, I found a pair of socks. Where? Right here. Ow! Don't be a baby, you're wearing armor. But it is plastic. Commander, Commander, there's a rebel in a dress recording something into a droid. Ooh, by chance was this droid distributing socks of any kind? Well, no. Then it's none of your concern, is it? Back on sock detail. Ah! Uh, me, I'm an Argyle man. Huh, I would not think that from looking at you. Hey! Where'd they go? Danish head ran off, but the droids are over there. Oh, no. I'm going to regret this. There's another one. Hold your fire. There's no life forms. It must have short-circuited. <sighs> Coffee? Yeah. Let's get some of that Sith roast. Sith roast! They got away! We've got to follow them. Come on, we'll take the other escape pod. Um, Candice? What? Sock, 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 sock. Look, if we catch those two droids, we'll be promoted off of sock detail. Let's drift. Technically, we will not be drifting. More like violent ejection, plummeting through the atmosphere and crashing onto the planet's surface. Mmm, that's good coffee. Did you know this was decaf? <laughs> I could not tell. Sith Rose! Decaf? For the operational Death Star! How do you like that, Norm? My beautiful invention floating out here in space, and do you think I get any credit for it? Your invention, sir? Well, yeah, I designed it to be a nutcracker. Here, look, look, look at this. See? It works just fine, but the Empire took my idea and made it so big, it's completely impractical. 
a walnut would be totally obliterated. The universe is cruel and unjust. Well, when they see my new invention, they'll be singing a different tune. All I need is to get my hands on a little bit of force to get it up and running. Now, where am I gonna find some extra force? The force surrounds us. It penetrates us. It binds the galaxy around. Yeah, I've seen the bumper sticker. No more adventures. I'm not going that way. Ah, oh, Tatooine. Okay, my busting instincts are telling me that the droids went that way. Now come on! Actually, I joined the Empire by accident. I was trying to sign up for a physics camp. Physics camp? Yeah, you're better off. Hey, Candace, why did you join the Empire? Don't you remember anything from orientation? Rebels are cruel, heartless subhumans who are messing up the galaxy. And I am all about law and order. Ever since I was young, you know I hated dissension. Among my peer group, it caused a whole lot of tension. When the other kids were slouching, I would stand at attention. And I always looked so good in white. Now I'm a bad man, my jam, and I rock a mean helmet. If I see a rebel, To know I'm always right You can see exotic worlds across the galaxy In the Empire In the Empire You can be all that they want you to be You get a 401k and your meals are free In the Empire In the Empire In the Empire In the Empire I don't know but I've been told The rebels need to be controlled She doesn't even know how to hold a blaster. No, I mean, really, she failed that part of the exam four times. She held it backwards and upside down. But no, she's a second cousin to some mid-level Darth, and so she gets the promotion? What about me? If they would just open their eyes, they'd see that I got everything it takes. I could be a stormy, a stormtrooper ever! You feeling better? Yeah, thanks. You can see exotic worlds across the galaxy. Look, sir, droids. No, this is a bathtub stopper. TK90210, what are you doing out here? Well, we followed some droids that ejected up, up, from the... Up, up. The droids and the missing Death Star plans are none of your concern. Death Star plans? Never you mind. You go to Moss Eisley. I'm sure you can find some socks for Lord Vader there. Yes, sir. Look, sir, a magic flute. No, that's a stick. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hello, boys. You're just in time for lunch. So what's on the list? Another day filled with big plans, herd all the nerfs into Beggar's Canyon, teach the Sarlacc to brush his teeth, and giving a Bantha a shower. That's awfully ambitious. Just trying to make the most of each and every summer day. Hey, we stopped by and saw Luke. Ooh, let me guess. Was he staring wistfully at the horizon? Lawrence? What? Everyone knows that boy would rather be somewhere else. What about you two? The crops are so far ahead. Would you like to spend the rest of the summer at swim camp on Naboo? Sounds fun, but we'll pass. Well, how about ski camp on Hoth? Don't you boys ever want to see the rest of the galaxy? Not really. We've got everything we want right here on Tatooine. Sand, Womp Rats, Brothers and Banthas. Why would anyone want to leave? Wait till they discover there's no girls on this planet. Lawrence? <laughs> Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up before dinner. But I was going into Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Now, come on, get to it. Well, come on, Red, let's go. Uncle Owen! Yeah? This R2 unit has a bad motivator. Look! Hey, what are you trying to push on us? What about that one? What about that blue one? We'll take that one. 
Okay, let's go. Now don't you forget this. Why I should stick my neck out for you is quite beyond my capacity. Norm, bring all my gear down to my lair. You mean the abandoned recycling compartment? It's a lair! Ooh, what do you know, a moving sidewalk? Oh, oh Darth Vader, hey, hey, I know that guy. It's Darth Vader, hey, they want, wait up, wait up. Woo, Darth Vader! I'm Darth Vader. I'm not sure if you remember me, the Doom Star, the little nutcracker thing, and then you sort of stole my plan. Anyway, I got a new invention, and it's gonna knock your socks off. I'm wondering if you could uh, spare a little force. I thought maybe you had a little extra line. With you. Okay, uh, good talk. Please, Master Luke took off your restraining bolt. Now quit complaining. Now I'm taking another oil bath, and I don't want to be disturbed. Ah. Wow, that vampire took a lot longer to clean than I thought it would. But we better get home. Little fella, sorry about that. Say, what's a droid like you doing out here in the Gentleman Wastes? Oh, cool, a movie. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, she must mean Ben Kenobi. Hey, we were just there. We have Jedi lessons with him every Tuesday. He lives right at the edge of the Dune Sea. Do you want to ride? <laughs> okay, suit yourself. And remember, sand people travel single file to hide their numbers. Oh, he probably already knows. See you later. Don't forget your two sun sunscreen. Way ahead of you, Mom. Hey, what's this? Death Star plans? Wait, I bet it belongs to that R2 unit that we sent to Ben Kenobi's house. I wonder if he's still there. No, he's on his way to Mos Eisley. Oh, wow. Can you sense that with the Force? No, I can see them. They're right over there. You're right, Ferb. And Luke's with them. And so... <coughs> oh, you got me. <coughs> And for my base customers. Hey, Votto. We're trying to find an R2 unit and give them back this data disk. Hey. Let's take a look at it. Wow. It's an Imperial battle station the size of a moon. And according to these schematics, it seems to be designed specifically to destroy entire planets. Whoa. I, I never imagined the Empire would go that far. Huh. You're right, Ferb. One proton torpedo in that small exhaust port, and the whole thing goes blammo! Uh, it's like it's got a self-destruct button. What kind of idiot would design that? Oh, why can't I master this? 
late. If the Rebels have this information, they might stand a chance against this thing. A small one-man fighter could penetrate the outer defense, fly along that trench, and get to the exhaust port. Hey, spoiler alert! That droid must be part of the Rebel Alliance. We've got to get this disc back to him. Candice, did you get the socks? Mission accomplished. I got a hoagie. Are those the stolen Death Star plans we are not supposed to be looking for? I don't believe it! Hey! You at the Death Star plans! You guys are so busted! Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. And get lost in the crowd. Not on my watch. Let's go! Hey, look! There's a droid! You two! Stop right there! You for Sorry, us. my bad! <laughs> the droid. Let's get over there. Stop that ship! Blast him! Join us out of here! Maybe we came at a bad time. Oh, Kufrad, this is gonna be nothing but paperwork. If we don't get these plants to that R2 droid, entire planets could be destroyed. Come on, we gotta find a pilot and follow that ship. Bigger and Dan in the modal nodes. Not a bad set, guys. Only one death and one dismemberment. Not bad for a Wednesday. <coughs> I don't like him either. All right, let's give her a big cantina welcome, folks. Vanessa, the Twilight. Um, we're looking for a pilot? Over there. Well, someone said he shot first, but I could have sworn it was the other guy. Nope, there. I'd get out of here just as soon as I'm able <sighs> But my hopper drives on the fritz Just a day the mine knocks to my power cables And my life's one big solid pit And I'm feeling so low Oh, great. What do you farm boys want? I'm Phineas, and this is my brother, Ferb. We understand you're a pretty good pilot. For a price. Well, we have a very important disc we need to get to someone who just blasted out of Docking Bay 94. I know whose ship that is. Whose? Han Solo. Solo. Solo's been a thorn in my side for years. My ship, the Centennial Chihuahua, was on pace to finish the Kessel Run in 11 parsecs, and that nerf herder cut me off. I'm feeling so Everybody low. loves Solo. Twelve parsecs. If I ever hear his name again, I'll just... Solo, 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 Would you two excuse me? Solo. Yeah, we should probably get going. Well... Here's my ship, the Centennial Chihuahua. Why'd you call it the Chihuahua? It's personal. Seems weird you'd call it something you didn't want to be asked about. You're right. It was a call for attention. There they are! Well, looks like we got it. Move it! We've got to get out of here! Fire the cannon! I think the battle end slides in here. But then the scope is on the bottom. That's not right. Hold on. This is going to be rough. Give me that. You're going down. Uh-oh. I see it! And you thought we were gonna die in space! Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Gosh, Ferb, our planet looks so small from here. First time in space? Well, yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah. Your planet's over here. Oh, that makes much more sense. Mom and Dad always did want us to see the galaxy, but I don't think this is what they had in mind. You might want to buckle up. I'm making the jump to hyperspace. <laughs> A little more warning would be nice. <clears throat> I grow tired of asking this, but please tell me you have the socks. Yes. Buford, with my compliments, sir. Excellent. Now report to the Death Star for reassignment. I'll deliver these to Lord Vader myself. Finally! Now we're gonna see some action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not riding in here. Uh, this shuttle's full. You can ride back to the Death Star on that bus pod. What a piece of junk! 
Wait, that's it. I've solved my force problem. I can extract it from Vader's garbage. It says right here. See, you, you can find anything on the internet. Hey, check it out, Norm 3PO. According to this real estate website, my timeshare on Alderaan is worth like 10 times more than I paid for it six years ago. Oh, I knew the value would go up. It's just, it's such a peaceful place. People like to pick it. Wait, what? What's this? The, the value is totally dropping. Zero? Isabella, did you know that you have T27 thermal couplings up here? Get down from there! Herb and I can reroute their current to double up your power supply. Just keep your paws off my ship. Reroute thermal couplings. I wonder what our family and friends are doing back on Tatooine. It feels a little strange to be so far from them, but at least we're making new friends like you, Isabella. This is not a friendship. It's a spaceship, so don't invade mine. We're coming out of hyperspace. Buckle up, ladies! What do you think, Ferb? A girl like her and a guy like me? Sure, why not? As promised, the Millennium Falcon. I should be able to catch him before he gets to that small moon. That's no moon. It's the Death Star. Isabella, turn the ship around. What have you guys got me into? We're caught in a tractor beam. My engines can't pull us free. Looks like we're gonna have to shoot our way out. I'm powering up the turret. There are alternatives to fighting. I should have known getting this close to Solo was a bad idea. Hurry it up back there! We modify the deflector shield with a cloaking mechanism. Give it a try. This had better work or you two are floating home. I don't think we could float all the way home. I mean, we wouldn't survive 15 seconds in the cold vacuum it's of space. It's a figure of speech! It worked! It even smells like donuts in here. Nice touch, Ferb. Okay, let's see if it fools them. Ah, vacuum bay control. You got us caught in a tractor beam here. Do you guys want donuts or not? Oh, shoot. Sorry. Disengaging tractor beam. Deliveries are in docking bay 427. You're clear to land. So, donuts? Does Darth Vader wear a funny hat? Dude! Oh, relax. He can't hear us all the way down. Hey, I... <gasps> oh, no, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> Can you believe this? Making us ride the bus pod? They better give us a real rebel fighting job this time and not just running some more errands. Uh-oh. I mean, how hard is it to deliver socks? Uh, Candace? Yes? I believe Buford requires your attention. Oh. What is it, Buford? Huh. Uh, Buford, I'm gonna ask you a question and I want you to think very hard before you answer. Thinking is always hard. I know. Here's the thing. If we have Darth Vader's socks, what exactly did we give the commander? I find your lack of sauce disturbing. Hello? Are you open yet? I don't yet? care the old fashions. Those are my favorite. I can't believe that worked. I feel guilty, though. Maybe we should get them some donuts. Would you stay focused? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's find Solo's ship in the droid, and then I'm out of here. Well, they landed in Docking Bay 327, and we're in Docking Bay 427. That's not so bad. What is it, Ferb? What's with the hand? I feel something. A presence I have not felt since... Perry! Hey, old buddy! Who is this? This is Perry the Platypus. He used to be our pet until we found out he was secretly an agent for the Rebellion. We felt a little betrayed and hurt at first, but bygones be bygones. Now we're good, right? So you're probably on a mission right now, huh? Hey, so are we! <laughs> oh! Uh, this is our pilot, Isabella. So, uh, good luck. He looks good. Ugh, oh, let's get this over with. You know, there ought to be enough residual force in Vader's garbage here to power it up for you. At least one shot. One man's trash is another man's bad idea. Just put the garbage in the chute, Mr. Weisendroider. It's Perry the Rebel Puss. Oh, sorry about the door. I, I put in a work order, but the guy's not going to get down here till like Thursday, so you know. Ah, look, Norm, you see? You put a big red axe on the floor, people will stand up. It's human nature. Or in this case, platypus nature. <laughs> What's wrong, Ferb? You got your hand up again. Perry is in trouble. Oh, no. Let's go help him. No, you must get that disc to the Rebels. We cannot risk our mission. 
Split up? Really? Just do what you need to do fast and meet us at the Falcon. May the Force be with you and all that stuff. Come on, we gotta find that droid. It's just like art. Yeah, nothing like a frozen platypus to tie a room together. Now, allow me to tell you why I created my latest Inator. You see, the force with me is weak. I've never been that hip or chic. People treat me like a freak. Sometimes they even boo and hiss. Me tell you, even though my midichlorians are low, I'll be the Death Star CEO when they get a load of this. It's a Sith the Nader, it's a really cool machine. My evil will be greater than Darth Vader's ever been, you ask. All those haters from Naboo to Tatooine, they'll say, Wow, that Darth and Schmerz is mean! When this is operational, I'll zap myself and BAM! The Force will be so strong with me, they'll all know who I am! And all those bureaucrats that used to point and jeer and joke, if I put my fingers just like this, they're gonna start to choke. Moff Tarkin will respect me, give me medals and a raise! With all my newfound sithiness, I'll set the Force ablaze! The Emperor, who used to only greet me with a yawn, he now will say, I'm blown away! Much like Alderaan, it's a sith nader it's a really cool machine. My evil will be greater than Darth Vader's ever been, you ask. All those haters from Naboo to Tatooine, they'll say, wow, that Darth and Schmerz is mean. It's my sith nader it's got evil moving parts. I'm the Sith creator, and my evil's off the charts, and my portrait will be placed on all the grandest evil hearts. And I'll no longer be the lowest of the Darths. I'll no longer be the lowest. The fastest, not the slowest. The yes is not the knowest. And you'll all be eating crowest. I'll no longer be the lowest of the Darths. Darth Vader can kiss my Bantha. Very good, sir. That was better than rehearsal. All right, stay close to your comlinks, ladies. If all goes well, I'll have a victory number in the fourth act. So. Like I said, I'm going to make myself super evil with my Sithinator here, but first, I'm gonna shoot you just to make sure it's safe and, you know, I don't die or fry myself and have to wear one of those masks like Vader, because that would not be a good look for me. Uh, you know, plus, if it works, you can join me on the dark side. We can be Sith buddies. What do you think, huh? Wait a minute, wait, who got a kid in here? Hey buddy, you okay? Yeah. yeah, he's gonna have a headache, but with any luck, he's gonna be so evil when he gets on his feet. Oh great, I, I used up all the force on this guy. Hey Norm, grab the trash can, we gotta go refuel. Wait right here, Perry the Rebel Puss. We'll be right back to turn you to the dark side too, and then you, me, and this kid in the cloak, I guess, can be the three Sithketeers. Who can I be, sir? You can be the horse, come on, let's go. We gotta get some more of that super forcey Vader trash. I know just where to look. Okay, 902 and 0, reporting for duty, sir. Just a minute. How are you? Oh, tell him I'm doing great. We're sending a squad in. Uh, negative, negative. We have a re reactor leak here. Uh, now, give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, large leak, very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? Ah, oh, I was just getting into that conversation. All of you go directly to level 5, detention block AA23. Yeah! Get some! Super, Finally, some real action. Da, 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 da. I need you to stay here and guard this post. But, but, but... That's an order. Oh, bantha droppings. And no matter what, we always did everything together. Are you done? Yep. Good. Then let's get going. Serious trooper. Happy trooper. Enigmatic trooper. Sad trooper. This corner and then it, uh oh. Hey, you're the ones with the stolen Death Star plan. Run. Hey, that's coming out of my salary. <laughs> This garbage chute is a really wonderful idea. What an incredible story you've discovered. Come here, boy, come on. That's it. Now, now what do you got for Papa today? Ooh, is that Darth Vader's inhaler? Nice, now we're talking. And, and what's this? This looks like a perfectly good Bantha cheese hoagie. Well, it's not good anymore. It's been underwater. But, wow, according to this, it's reeking with dark force. Vader must have touched it. Put it in. 
What else have you got for me? <laughs> that's not trash, dummy. That's a guy. Just put him back. I've got enough. Man, you can lead a Dianoga to garbage, but you can't make him think. Don't forget to flush! The walls are moving! Don't just stand there, try and brace it with something! Man, someone needs to oil that thing. Okay, come on, Norm 3PO, let's go make some Sif happen. Hey, they fixed the door! Must have been a cancellation somewhere. I'm gonna go check on this Sifinator. You go see if that kid's evil yet. Where did we leave him? Behind this box? What the heck are you standing around for? I thought I told you. Oh, my scream. 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 Oh, my I'd like to see you try that again. Uh, should we report that? I'm not losing my place in line. Hey, get back here, you two! You're a rebel. You were in trouble. I couldn't just leave you hanging. Literally. Well, Buford, watch where you're shooting that thing! Seriously, why don't they put safeties on these blasters? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm planning on hitting the wall and sliding down until I catch onto a radio antenna. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, that's Cloud City I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, crud. But why would he save me? You're either really brave or really stupid! Well, kid, looks like your luck hasn't run out yet. There's the Falcon, MR2 unit. It's getting away, but I've got to get the disc to... Quick, back to my ship! Wait, what about Ferb? We can't leave without him. If we don't leave now, we'll lose the Falcon. But I can't leave my brother. Isabella, you've got to take the disc back to R2. I'll go find Ferb. If I leave, I'm not coming back. Fine. Just make sure you deliver the disc to the R2 unit. How do you know I won't just go back to Tatooine? I trust you. Remember that brave or stupid thing? I know which one it is. What is that? It looks like it was built by... Ferb? Cool face paint! Oh no. What? The disc is gone. The one with the thing for blowing up the Death Star? Are you kidding me? It's supposed to be right here! This is not be, happening. Is it over there in the floor somewhere? No, no, is it no, the floor? we Wait. are so dead! Maybe, maybe it fell out on the flight deck. Okay, okay, hey, I know. We'll blame Jar Jar. Jar Jar? That's a terrible idea. He retired like 20 years ago. Hey, it's not like we have a lot of options here. Okay, here, let's do this. You go get a thermal detonator and we'll put it right back here. No! On the back of How is that better than my Jar Jar idea? Yo, tech support. Got something for ya. Oh my gosh. Thank yes, you. thank you. You saved our lives. <laughs> well, that was a close one, huh? Oh. Hey, what do you think she found it? Hey, man, never look a gift tauntaun in the oral cavity. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I can't see her. Oh, ah. All right. Someone's getting a lightsaber right now. Oh, it's uh, just a flashlight. I guess my lightsaber's in the camping supplies. Oh, oh, look, I'm scared. Ugh, whatever. Hi! 
So is there a face painting booth around here or something? And where's Perry? Were you able to find him? I found this, the Sithinator. And I've modified it so I can create an army of Sith warriors. Join me on the dark side, brother. <laughs> Shut up, Ferb. Come on, let's get out of here. Isabel already left. We gotta find a ship so we can get home. Dark side is my home now. Whoa, Ferb, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, quit messing around. Hey, this isn't funny. I'm not gonna fight you. If you will not join me, Then I must destroy you. Okay, I can see you're serious. Oh, this isn't you. We're brothers. Hey, this is crazy. We we would never try to hurt each other. Best you guy. Oh, we're allowing modifications, huh? Give me a sec. Hey, Candace, what's up? Um, I was just thinking, we're the good guys, right? Yes, I believe so. That's what they told us during the brainwashing. Orientation, Buford. Potato, tomato. And rebels are bad. We know that. Of course, the rebels are always the bad guys. What about Robin Hood? That has not happened yet. Well, one of the rebels just saved my life. He could have escaped, but instead he came back to help me. Hmm. And didn't we just blow up a planet? Hmm. Yes, that is sort of difficult to justify. Morally. <laughs> You're over there, and I'm over here. And never the twain shall meet. So I guess you're just gonna have to give up. Oh, I see. You're gonna swing across like a monkey man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Me swingy, swingy monkey man. Go ahead, knock yourself out. There's no way you got enough cable to reach that. Oh, I see what you were trying to do. Oh, no, 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 step in. On so All flight crews, man your stations. Hey, look, it's Isabella. Isabella, you've joined the rebellion? Not by a long shot. Well, you should. You're a great pilot. We need you. The odds are stacked against us. The Empire has everything. A Death Star, highly trained troops, Darth Vader, and we're just a ragtag bunch of undertrained, good intentioned rebels. And to be perfectly honest, Isabella, we're kids. We are actual children, and they're letting us fly fighters. That's how hopeless this situation actually is. You want to help us? Strangely, still no. Worst rallying speech ever. Shut up, Porkins. Scout tip over and dump you here? What are you doing here, Isabella? Did someone run out of cupcakes? Very funny. So where are you heading? As far away from here as possible. Yeah, I don't have any reason to stay here either. I don't know anything to anybody. I'm not in this to make friends. Yeah, obviously. What do you mean by that? I've got friends. I've got plenty of friends. Yeah? Where are they now? Well, where are yours? <laughs> Put a sock in it, fuzzball. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have some place to be. See you around, Isabella. <sighs> eh, the Wookiee 
is right. My brother! Your brother's a Sith warrior? No, I mean, yes, I mean, it's a recent development. Wait, why are you helping me? I'm a rebel. I had to. I couldn't just leave you hanging. Hey, heads up! Ah! Hey, watch it! Hold it right there, pal. just lying around has one hole right here hey look what else i just found my hoagie i would not eat that if i were you come on let's get off this battle station but we don't have a ship i know where there's a bus pod harry great work hey don't be a stranger you think maybe you could turn this thing over all the blood's rushing to my head hey it's luke they must have got the plans he should hit that exhaust port no problem i mean it's practically as big as a womp rat yeah, we should probably get out of here. Come on, the bus pod is right through here. Wait, 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 no, oh, no, no. Oh, no. That was the last ship. Yeah, we're toast. Well, if we had to go out, at least it was for something we believe in. My only regret is that I spent so much time on the wrong side. My only regret is that I ate that hoagie. I guess if I have a regret, it's that I never got reunited with my sister. She left Tatooine when I was just a baby. Phineas? Candace? Oh, I can't believe Candace. you! You've gotten so big! I didn't even recognize you! Hey, wait a minute. Why is this guy hugging us? Oh, this is Ferb. He's our stepbrother. Mom remarried? What happened to Dad? A funny story, actually. He... <laughs> Wow, that was close. Thanks for coming back to get us, Isabella. Well, that's what friends are for. Oh, but what about all those innocent baristas and bank tellers and bowling alley attendants? They're fine. The Firestar girls got them out earlier. Okay! Ah, HP. With you stopping Darth and Schmertz and the Rebellion destroying the Death Star, this day will be long remembered. Apparently, there are still copies of the Death Star plans out there somewhere, so still might have a teeny problem there, but eh, we'll blow up that battle station when we come to it. Hologram, out. <laughs> so long, Perry the Platypus. Now I can live to fight in the sequel. <laughs> uh, 
I probably should have thought this one through better. I didn't realize the escape pod would be platypus size, but plus I'm uh, sitting on my keys. <laughs> is right. Let's party! Alright, boys. Let me hear some of that rebel bass. We don't often have a cause for a celebration. No, we don't always have a reason to smile. We've been knocked over, stepped on, straight up oppressed. Our resolve and endurance have been put to the test. We've been under thumb, underground, and under arrest. And we haven't seen the sun for a while. But the tables have turned, the momentum has shifted. Can't you feel the change in the air? A new hope has returned, our spirits are lifted. Go tell everybody everything. Oh, no, no, not a chance. I only have just the one sister. Good. I'm okay! Way to ruin the moment, Porkins! <laughs> 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 